How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at more of a traditional hourglass. This one having a wood base at the bottom and a glass outside unlike the liquid ones from my previous one made of oils and plastic. But there's something really special about this one. Let's go ahead and zoom in and see if you can tell me what you think it is. So this is the wood block at the bottom, and then the sand inside. What do you think is going to happen when I turn it upside down? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, and look at that. Let me zoom in here a little bit for you. As you see, there's actually a magnet at the bottom right here, and it's magnetic sand that's inside of the hourglass, and it's all getting magnetized into one little kind of bunch. It kind of looks like, um, like fur, and it changes its shape as I shift it left to right. That's so interesting. You can see it kind of pushing the other sand away and then kind of solidifying from the magnetic pole. I feel like it's getting weaker the higher the sand pile gets. Let's go ahead and put it back down. This is made of a pretty decent glass. This is the size of the magnet at the bottom. This is actually a neodymium magnet. Very strong magnet. But I had an idea. Now this is strong, but what if I make it a little bit stronger with two twice the size neodymium magnets and some really interesting stuff happened before I started the video that I want to show you guys. So, let's go ahead and turn it over. The first thing you're going to notice, I'm going to put this towards the bottom. Things start stacking quite a bit higher because of the pull. But not only that, let's zoom in real quick. Everything is increasingly more spiky. Turn down the light a little bit. You can really see the spikes just forming these really kind of crystal-like shapes. And what's interesting is when I move it to the side, just like this, it all stays in its same spot. If it was still on the block over here, everything would um, have fallen to the side because the strength wouldn't have been nearly as strong as this. Look at that. Go ahead and move this. Another thing that I noticed is that the sand compacts when you add magnetic force next to it. So right there, if I put that to the side, it goes. But when I put it back, it stops. So basically what's happening is I'm pulling the sand to the side, causing a kind of tighter little compacted area in the sand, making it so it won't fall down. I thought that was really interesting. Another really interesting thing that I messed around with is if you put it right here, you can actually drag the sand to the side. And if you do it fast enough, it'll kind of keep the shape of the side of the hourglass. Let's try that again. So, we're going to bring it to here, put on the magnet, 
and then slide it to the side. See how it still kind of keeps the curve of the hourglass? It's also really cool if you bring it here to the center. You can see right here on the side that it's just kind of following the magnet on the top and forming these kind of magnetic, uh, what are those things made out of ice that hang in caves? I can't think of the name of it right now, but it looks really cool. And I take it off and it goes back to normal. Another cool thing is if you had some extra magnets laying around and you wanted to do exactly what I was doing, you can actually just put this right here and then you have yourself a completely new base to where you can get the brand new magnetic effect. But I made a mistake. Or did I? So as I was showing you on the side right here, when there's too much magnetic force, it compacts the sand to where it won't fall down. But now that there's three neodymium magnets, it's strong enough to stop the sand from even falling down. So, let's move this. And if we take off one of these magnets, now look what happens. You still get almost twice the strength, but it still allows the sand to fall but just barely. So if you look at this stream right here, it's actually having breaks in the stream because it's struggling to come out because the magnetic force is so strong from the bottom. But even though you can't use it as a correct time tracking uh, device, I think that the extra spikies that you get from it is really nice. Let's go ahead and put that down. So I did one more thing right here, which is I actually put the magnet at the top to get this kind of crystal shape that's falling towards the uh, bottom. And if you shake a little bit of it off, then it falls down. It still isn't strong enough to hold it all the way if it falls off, and it will still go through the bottom and make the cool effect at the bottom as well. So it's kind of like double the effect on both sides, but this one being kind of anti-gravity. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.